Hey guys, I'm here with Haken and Roberto from IO Interactive, and we just checked out Hitman Absolution, and these guys were nice enough to sit down and talk to me about it. Um, wow, so it was a uh, quite an quite an interesting little playthrough we did. Um, I was there at the at the the demo you showed at E3, which had uh, Agent Forty Seven sneaking around in a library and taking down cops. And when you showed that off, there was a lot of uh, kind of backlash that this wouldn't be as stealthy as the Hitman titles are known to be. And it seems like you've addressed this. Um, do you want to uh, talk about exactly uh, what was shown off today? I would love to. Uh, we showed a, a playthrough of a level that uh, takes place in an orphanage where Agent 47 is on a personal contract from his uh, former ICA handler, Diana. And uh, he has to get to a girl called Victoria, but we still don't know exactly why. What happens is that the player will sneak through the level or attack it far away, however way he wants. And uh, we try to give the player as many tools as he can to do whatever he wants. So, but what, what's important is to understand that also that the E3 demo could have been played that way. Seems like it. It seems like it's a very, very open-ended approach. Um, and you guys totally. have been working on this for a while. You've rebuilt the engine from the ground up. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of questions about how easy it's going to be. Um, I think that you've got the the instinct system in place, and that's that you kind of charge up your your ability instinct, to yeah. see what's going on. Um, yes. Is it possible to turn that off for for more hardcore players? Yes, it is. It is possible to turn it off. It's uh, the instinct feature is just a way to streamline the experience. It is basically it's the same as the min older minimap. It's just a more direct approach. But uh, more experienced player on a dip more difficult level will can uh, even turn it off. And uh, for the extremes, we have a, a mode we call Purist, where we turn the entire GUI off. Mm. So you have no feedback from how much health you have, how much ammo you have, and you cannot access any of the uh, information that Instinct can give you. You have still access to the blend-in uh, feature and the point shooting feature, but anything else, is you. I think that should put some people's minds at ease. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a very hardcore game. I was I played uh, some of the other earlier ones and they were they're very challenging. There's a there's a lot of a challenge there, and this one looks um, a little bit less threatening. And at the same time, it, it seems like there's also a lot there. Um, you showed us in, in the playthrough. You showed uh, one stealthy approach. Um, in which I think only you know three guys were, were taken down and you, you hit the yep. bodies. And then another one where you went out of your way to kill everyone in the orphanage. Um, however, the, only, the, only guards. Only guards. Only, oh, only yeah. the guards. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, bad guys, right? Everyone else was already dead. Yeah. The bad guys. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the stealthy one, in spite of being very sneaky, still did not win the silent assassin. No, um, it didn't. What, what exactly is involved with trying to get that, that level of an achievement? Well, you have to, uh, first of all, not get spotted at all during the level. And uh, you also have to clear out uh, any evidence on the level that is there to begin with. But uh, there is also some other stuff that is it's going to make it even more challenging. So the, the difficulty level is what the, you make of it. You know? Okay. One thing that caught my attention is when you're in, a, I guess it's an instinct mode, you can um, you can train your shots on people. Is that is that true? Yeah. You can kind of go into bullet time? Um, Point shooting, that's Point what we shooting. call it. Okay. Uh, this is a feature of our uh, instinct uh, system. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it takes uh, inspiration from a real life mechanic. And this is basically our way to uh, give the player the means to, to have this uh, trained uh, marksman mindset. Because 47, he can of course do this. He can of course enter a room and shoot everyone in, in, in less than a second. But He's a badass. Yeah. So yeah. But most players, they will probably have trouble hitting the walls. So, so we have to give them the way to, to do this mechanic. Hmm. And it's, as you saw in the demo, it's, uh, with, you can also do it to react on a very short notice when you have lots of people and you have to take them down. Let's come back to your, your Prague question about uh, you know, some of the uh, uh, audience uh, saying that it uh, you know, seems like it's more action-oriented uh, uh, game. I, I really want to emphasize, that, uh, emphasize on that you know, we know our long-term fans and uh, the stealth, uh, as you saw today, um, the stealth uh, playthrough is, is, you know, it's very much fidelity to it, even more than our uh, prior installments. Um, but um, the action thing is to, you know, before it was al almost um, uh, 
you know, when you shot somebody or got spotted, you know, almost the whole area level would be alerted and uh, it was very binary before, right? So we wanna we wanna really give the choice to the player if you wanna, you know, if you if you wanna go guns blazing and you wanna have action and experience, you should you should have a compelling experience. And if you wanna uh, really uh, pursue the stealth uh, r route, you should really have that. And if uh, you know different parts of the game, if you wanna switch between them, there should be a possibility of that. So the AI is a lot more complex now, has a lot more behavioral states, uh, which means that um, if you shoot somebody or something, then you can kind of uh, uh, contain the situation again. If you're good enough, you're kind of hiding and kind of uh, getting the tension level down. Uh, you can really in that way, uh, mix up things and play around with the AI. That's very cool. Yeah, it seems like this is a very versatile game. It's like the, the Swiss Army knife of assassins. And I, I think it's a, that's a problem with, with, uh, with stealth games is if, if you've had a long day and you come home and you want to relax, it's not always easy to do that if you're getting, you know, just shot from every, every side if you get discovered. And, and with this, you can actually, you can choose if you want to, you know, what level of control you want to have. If you want to just make Agent 47 kick ass, you can make him do that. And if you want to really take control of him and, and test your, your stealthy abilities yourself, that, that can happen too. So uh, that's that's very cool. So uh, so one thing that was stressed when we when we saw the preview was that the, the pay attention to the music. Uh, it, it's very impressive. The sound design sounds good. But specifically, what's going on with the music? How does that play into the game? Well, thank you, uh, first of all. Um, we, um, at the first demo uh, at E3, we uh, really wanted to convey uh, the new you know, ambitions and what we've achieved with the uh, cinematic feel of it. And the music is a big par part of that. And uh, also in this demo, how you know, we try to convey how uh, the music system is uh, dynamically adapting to your play style. So we are not, you know, have, we're not, we don't have any triggered pressure plates kind of thing. You can come into this area, then the mus this music uh, plays. It's all dynamically adapted to the to the play style. So in the same area, if you play, uh, uh, you know, more violently, or you, you get one experience with the music. Uh, if you play stealthy, you get another experience in the, in the same area. So it's all adapting to support uh, your play style. Um, in 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 that way, it also um, you know if you if you play um, uh, the game in one way, like more aggressive way, uh, and a stealthy way, uh, you'll get a Another, diff another experience, not just on, you know, the words and the stories, uh, everything, but you will get another music experience as well. Hmm. So everyone's got a different soundtrack. That's that's yeah. pretty cool. Well, there you go, Hitman Absolution. That's uh, that's hitting PS3, 360, and PC sometime in 2012. Yes. Can you uh, hint or allude to when? Well, uh, 2012. Okay, 2012. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for talking with us. And, thank uh, you. Any hardcore Hitman fans worried about it being too easy or, or too hard or uh, having too many weapons or not enough weapons, I, I think your your worry should be sure assured. Looks great, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.